Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing how to replace the main control board for this Maytag commercial technology uh, washer. I have had this uh, washer for about two and a half years and recently it's starting to act up where it wouldn't fill or it would fill but it wouldn't um, actually go through the entire wash cycle uh, or it wouldn't drain the tub completely and I've determined that my motors, my wash motors are still good. Um, and there's no issue with the door locking so um, it has to be the main control board so i um, have already removed these um, hex screws on the back of the panel um, before you start make sure to unplug it from the wall and remove your uh, drain pipe if you need to to get access to the back of it but um on the back here there's um, a couple of these uh, quarter inch um, hex uh, screws and you just use the um, one quarter inch millimeter or one quarter inch um, socket drive to remove these screws from the back and then the nice thing about it is you don't have to remove your um, your uh, hose connection it just slides right down and then inside your washer here on the left side and the right side um, and under in here it'll be really hard to see but there's a uh, there's the clip down in here, down uh, from under here, and then you have to kind of bend over and put your head inside the tub and look up and use the screwdriver to or, uh, to pop that tap out. And there's one on the right side and one on the left side. And once you do that, just pop up this cab right here and then pull out this uh, uh, hood. And see this tap right here? This is a tap that I'm talking about that you would have to use a screwdriver to pop up from inside the washer and there's one on the left and one on the right side all right i've uh, popped off the hood to the washer and this is what it looks like inside the um the hood there and you see these tabs here this is what i was referring to earlier you have to use like a screwdriver or or something long to basically push this in from underneath and inside the washer to basically pop off this hood but here is the uh main control board there's some wires going to it. Just uh, be really careful careful to um, uh, disconnect it. But it uh, looks like there's a uh, hex screw here. And then the, once you um, take that off, it should slide right off. Um, you, you can, and then when you're buying this main control board, just make sure to get your model number um, for your washer. And then for this particular model, um, it costs like around $250 plus a $60 uh, core charge. So. I'm taking this off and then bringing it to the uh, appliance parts store and then giving this and then bring in the uh, um, bring back the new control board. So let's get to it. Just be uh, very careful with these pigtail connectors. They're uh, just push back on these clip and pull it right up. But um, just be really careful to disconnect them to not break anything. This one is also a uh, one quarter inch um, socket drive. And here it is. Like I said earlier, my washer, st um, it still turns on, but it doesn't go through a complete wash cycle. It, um, it either uh, fills up and doesn't spin or uh, doesn't wash or it, um, it wash, but there's no uh, water in the washer for it to wash. Um, or sometimes, depending on what cycle is on, um, it doesn't drain and uh, spin the clothes um, dry. So um, I've determined that it, this is the um, the bad um, part. There we got here the uh, new replacement control bore straight from Maytag. This is an OEM part. Um, before I picked this one up, I took my old one back and also verified to make sure that all these pigtail connections are exactly the same as my old one um, before I purchased this from the store. Sure to, all these pigtail connections should be pretty, um, they, um, they're they made to where they can only fit in one slot so you, you, you don't have to worry about mixing up a, a connection somewhere. So. Up. 
And there we have it. Make sure to splot, um, slide these little clips down here into the um, um, groove here. And then it should fit right over your existing um, slot here. This connector here and this connector uh, are empty. All right, now it's time to put the uh, hood back on. You can, um, you can see these uh, little prongs here on, on both the left and the right hand side of the hood. Just make sure to slide this in first um, and then you can pop, push down this uh, from the front end and then this should pop down. So basically make sure this little hook here hooks down to the washer itself, the frame of the washer before you snap this hook in. Got the two hooks in the back set and then just push down on it. There we go. You can see it's kind of locked in place. And now it's time to put this little back panel on. Right, the new replacement OEM control board has been installed. So let, let's give this a uh, test drive. All right, before my issue was that um, um, the power and everything still comes on, but on some of the cycles, like a normal cycle, the quick wash cycle, um, it would wash, but it wouldn't drain, or it would um, drain, but it doesn't wash, or vice versa. But All right, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we're in business. So now it's saying it's filling and there's actually water um, coming down from the top like it's supposed to. Before, it said it was filling, but there's no water coming up from it's coming down from the top or filling up on the bottom. So this is a good sign that we have uh, remedied the situation. So, all right, thank you everyone for uh, watching. Uh, if you like my video, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe for more. Thank you.